muscles, they're coated in fascia and they're penetrated by fascia. The way that a muscle contracts is that the brain sends the signal through the nerve and then create pump or additional vasodilation with the blood, okay? And that's actually how we condition and grow muscles is the blood comes in and forces the cell to grow. That goes for your bicep or for anything else. When you guys go to study anatomy on this, like if you were just to Google it right now, anytime that you see the word sheath or membrane or connective tissue or arachnoid matter, all of those are just medical code words for fascia. So any picture that you pull up and you hear those words, it may not say fascia, it may say like perennial sheath or something like that. The sheath part means that it's fascia. So I'm gonna show you on the Essential Anatomy 5 app, we're gonna zoom in here and what I wanna show you is how much all of this is just muscles. Okay, so we're looking at some deep glute rotators and we're bringing in some more of like your vaginal area. We've gone the full Monty. So when you think about downstairs, I just want you to think of it as muscles. And then we can add the nerves. Look at how many of the nerves come down there. And look at where the nerves come from. They're shooting out of the spine, coming out of the sacrum. So interesting, right? And then we also have the blood. Those are your veins and arteries. So when we talk about sexual pain, the same way that you can have a painful type piriformis, or the same way you can have a compartment syndrome in your calf, you can have spasm in the muscle where the fascia the muscle fibers begin to clamp down because our vaginal wall is made up of muscle and fascia, then you can have the exact same issues in your vagina that you have anywhere else in your body. Not to mention just the picture I showed you, if you saw there were so many attachments on the pelvis and the pelvis is basically two halves. So if something gets tight on one side, it can pull the pubis into a weird position and pinch a nerve. The side view of our vaginal wall. So this is your urethra and your bladder. And then this is the vaginal canal and the uterus. And this is obviously the intestines and the anus, but everything in between and all around here is muscles and fascia. So let me show you something that's so cool. And we can just even look, this is just the baseline in day 30 and I'll blow this up a little bit. We're looking at a leg, okay? But what I want you to see is all of this trashy fascia and in 30 days, it's smoothed out. And in 60 days, it's smoothed out even more. So just because we're not palpating, you know, there's no way we can palpate all the way down to our femur bone, which is here on the ultrasound. The fascia starts to kind of take over and restore itself. So you don't have to physically reach it is what I'm saying in order to impact the fascia all the way down to the deepest parts of the body because I know if I were watching the live feed I was like I'd be thinking is she telling us to blast inside of our vaginas and I am not I'm telling you that if you blast around it on the peripheral layer that you can actually impact the fascia deeper the muscles were made up of fascia we've got nerves flowing through here we've got the blood going to everything it's all intertwined within the bones and then we know that if we palpate at the surface level that we can impact the fascia throughout the depths. If you're wanting to tighten your skin, you would do it the exact same way you would do anywhere else on your skin. And the reason that it works is number one, systemically we found out in the study that we're increasing a collagen production. So that's gonna be a longer term effect, but we're also flushing blood to the area, which carries a lot of nutrients that's gonna deliver to the skin what it needs to actually tighten them. So without being too graphic, if you're gonna actually blast the outside of your vagina, you would want to use the face blaster and literally straddle one lip and then straddle the other. And I definitely still like using the face blaster for the inner thighs, all along the pubis, and then of course in the lower abdominal region. You could use the master blaster, you could use the mini one, but the claws of the face blaster and the master blaster are gonna be better for that area just because it's so small. It's very, very powerful. I definitely think that this is something that should be part of our life, our, our vaginal health, our, our pelvic health, and you know, just this whole center of gravity is so important to our life as a human being.